Here are three weapons you can get at the start of your Dying Light playthrough to have fun and to make it more smooth. Now the second you can free roam, head over to this location that's a little southeast from the tower. You'll find a little hut that you can't miss, and when you go inside, you'll find someone who has, let's say, given up on the zombie apocalypse. Right beside his feet, you'll find a pistol. Now this is the first gun you can get in Dying Light. And having one early can help you deal with a lot of difficult bosses. Now if you continue along this direction, you'll come to this location right here. If you look out onto the water, you'll find a lone rock. Swim on over, and you'll find a sword lodged into a dead body. Now you can try to collect it, but it'll take you a while. So you can collect it, but you gotta hold down on the collect button until you pull the sword out. It'll take some time, so make sure to be patient. And when you finally pull this weapon out, make sure you stay and wait for the body to burn. And also make sure to stay a little farther away so that you don't burn yourself. Once the body has turned to ash, there'll be a blueprint that you can collect for the weapon. The blueprint is not as strong as this weapon, so keep that in mind. Now this weapon is called the EXP Caliber, and it does a lot of damage, and if you have the Heavy Swing perk or skill, you can send enemies flying. Now unfortunately, it only has about 7 durability, and the blueprint one only has 5. So this weapon is mainly about having fun and flinging your enemies across places. When the weapon breaks, you can still fling enemies across, and if you're on a very high building, you can pretty much kill them with a fall. Now lastly, if you come over to this location right here, you'll find a tall building that you'll need to climb to get this other blueprint. Now if you don't have the grappling hook, this is how you can climb this building. Head over to this AC vent, jump and hang from it, and then turn and jump for the light post. You'll probably miss it a couple times, but trust me, you can do it. Just keep trying and you'll eventually succeed. Now once you're on the light post, it's only a matter of climbing up. So just look up and find a way to climb. Or simply follow the route on screen. Now once you get on this roof, you'll find a bunch of boxes. And behind the boxes, there'll be a little toolbox. And when you try to open it by kicking it, it won't work on the first try. But keep on trying and you'll eventually get it to open. It'll take you 75 tries, but then eventually you'll get it open and be able to get the correct machete. Now this blueprint will cost you 10 things of alcohol and 20 metal parts. Now it is a lot and you can find the alcohol in fridges and you can find the metal parts in blue bins for the most part. And when you craft this weapon, it says it does 500 damage, but when I crafted it, it did about 400 something, which is still high. And the cool thing about this weapon is that when it breaks, you can't repair it, but it can still kill enemies. Now before it broke, it would usually take me two hits to kill any enemy, but afterwards it usually took about three, which is still pretty good. So you can pretty much get this weapon at the start of your playthrough, and then use it for a couple more missions before you might want to replace it, or find a different weapon. Now if you guys want to know how you can rank up quickly in Dying Light, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Or if it's uploaded already, I'll leave it at the end of this screen. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.